I think the first impression that I want people to see of R650 Meteor is, oh wow, this thing is gonna take you back at the same time it's gonna carry you forward. The quality of the Royal Enfield is super nice and especially the Super Meteor I think is touching on this cruiser consumer and what we try to do is take that to the next level and I'm just gonna go ahead and say this is a badass chopper. Hey, what's up guys? Roland Sands here with our new Royal Enfield 650 Super Meteor Chopper. It's pretty unapologetic. It doesn't have front brakes. We use a Sportster, an extended Sportster front fork, and we use a TC Brothers narrow triple clamp. This is like the narrowest triple clamp that we could find for the 21 21-1850 Morris front wheel. This wheel set is our RSD Morris wheels that we have gold Cerakoted, and we built some custom narrow front hubs for it as well. Royal Enfield did a good job in making this motor look special. They took a little bit of extra time, effort, and care in making sure that things were done correctly. This is not a cheap motorcycle. This is a motorcycle that has a lot of quality built into it. We developed a whole group of covers for the bike, including a primary cover, a derby cover. There's a timing cover on the left side that you can pop off and you can check the timing. Throttle body covers that replace the stock throttle bodies with a nice little gold mesh behind it. Battery cover on both sides also has another little billet detail that has a gold mesh behind it as well. So we did a lot with black and gold on the bike. I don't know if you can tell by looking at it. Probably the biggest change you notice is the frame. So we did chop this chassis. When we went to the smaller gas tank, which is this Wassel peanut tank, we got rid of the larger fuel tank. So we had to take the fuel pump and put the fuel pump inside of the gas tank, which was a total pain in the ass um, for a tank this small, but that exposed the chassis. So exposing the chassis means that we have to clean up the neck. So we did, we took and basically ground everything underneath the main backbone and the neck. The neck stock, the backbone stock, everything underneath that down to the motor is all brand new. So you can see a dimple dyed gusseted plate that goes in there and then we use a nice single down tube to a bitch and little clevis that makes that front of the chassis two pieces. You have to make it two pieces in order for it to come out in the way that the motor is built into the bike. We replaced and modified the shock horns and I think it really made the chassis flow from the neck all the way through the gas tank, all the way down into the shock mounts. Olin shocks out in back a little bit longer than stock. Make sure that we get this bike the right height. We wanted plenty of ground clearance. We wanted to be able to go around corners fast, even though we can't stop fast. When you put all of those features into a motorcycle, it redefines what the bike feels like, rides like, and is. Royal Enfield XRSD chopper. You walk up to it and you go, whoa, there's a bunch of shit missing off this bike. And there is, and that's what makes it cool.